You stood right there for 15 minutes. Right. Right. We're going to let you in now, sir. We're going to let you in now. Okay, just take one second. Can I just hold on? Peter, you're a candidate. Uh, I'm a candidate. Uh, I look, we understand you're a candidate. We're going to get you in in one second, okay? Just bear, if you just bear with us for one second, we'll let you in, okay? Happy is democratic right to attend. I, I understand. We're, we're going to, uh, you're not being refused that. We're going to let you in in one second. I'm an election uh, candidate bear, as well. Do you can come in. No Thank problem you. at all, Miss Cal. You just have to put on a mask. No, we're together. No, but well then you're not coming in without a mask. So I have to advise you, okay? Well, uh, Mr. Hewley, is it? I think I've I I seen your name on the, on the candidacy. You're one of the candidates. I think I know who I am. Yeah. I just explain okay. myself to whoever is Okay, no, it's okay. Peter. So you have to wear a mask once you win. Okay, so. So this is Peter Dooley. He's a candidate in the by-election. So, um, my name is Professor Dolores Cahill and it's the 9th of July 2021 and I'm uh, an election candidate for the Dublin Bay South election um, and we are trying to go in to the election count in order to see what votes that we got and we have and I have inalienable rights of bodily integrity and I am under the law allowed to enter this building. Uh, it should not be restricted. And here we have members uh, of private security, and we have members here dressed up as our police force on Garda Siakona. Not one of them have actually identified themselves properly. Sorry, two children from Nottingham Garda Station. Under the, con under the law and under the Constitution, anyone who is saying that they are a member of Garda Siakona have to produce their warrant Produced. oath card. No, no, and you have to show it, and we I'm have told. to identify the numbers. No, you didn't. Um, so this is, uh, what's your name again, Hugh? Um, and we are, have been here now for over an hour and they are half. denying us access to the democratic process and my name is Dolores Cahill, I have a right to see my votes and they've been counted and I just wanted to pass over to um, Elisa Keane, my Director of Elections. My name is Elisa Keane and I'm the Director of Election for Dolores Cahill. Today we have been denied entry to the count and this is an affront to democracy okay we're going to follow uh, dr or sorry peter dooley here could the guards just ask could he have could they have a word with him so we're going to just uh, see what happens here So guys, I'm actually going to put on a mask, which has never happened before with me. I do appreciate your, your help. Thanks very much. Okay. okay. Peter, I'm going to come in here with you and do an interview, okay? No, hang on, hang on. Sorry, Have you I? a wrist mask? Have you a wristband? Have you a wristband? Okay. Can I not, can I not observe the count? Okay, there you go. Are the public allowed to watch the count? Garda. Garda, I'm just wondering, are the public allowed to watch the account? Garda? Are the public allowed to watch the account? Excuse me. Garda, are the, are, are the public allowed to watch the observe the count? Garda. Are they public allowed in to watch the count? Today they are not upholding the law. Garda, can you just they are answer? They're not upholding the constitution. They are Garda, denying can you just answer, please? Dolores Cowell Who should I ask? And myself, Elisa King, our inalienable right to no. walk through that door. It is a sad Garda, I'm wearing a mask now. That was why I was removed earlier. It is a sad day for Ireland. This is tyranny. This is what Okay, so the guards like, just blatantly ignoring me here. Um, one of the other candidates there, he doesn't he, he doesn't want to wear a mask, he said he's going to wear it to get in, Peter Dooley. I'm currently wearing a mask, believe it or not, uh, in order to enter, but they're just ignoring me now. My name is Doris Cahill again. I stood for election on the 8th of July 2021. 
and we are now, I am being denied my inalienable rights under the law to oversee the democratic process and the electoral count. And not one of these are members... The, are the public allowed in to watch the count? Are the public allowed in to watch the count if they're wearing a mask? Sir, excuse me. As a member of and the question is, why do we have essentially private security here not identifying themselves as the police in Ireland? And they are denying an election candidate from overseeing the democratic process. Uh, and this is one of the uh, main people we have private security. So what we have to do in Ireland, uh, and I would be happy to put a call out to people all across Ireland, that the name of the returning officer again is Joe Burke. Joe Burke, and we would essentially to like to count? call on the men and women who have voted for me and the people that want to see that for the next general election and for this the presidential case, election tech security. Ireland, for which I'm going to stand as a candidate, that we have a thorough review of how the election process works in Ireland for the next general election and for the future elections. Because what are they afraid of if ordinary people are standing for election and in order for societies to function? The value of every person's vote is part of how a free society works and we need to have free speech. We need to have um, the protection of a members of court, Shia Khan, who swear an oath to protect our inalienable rights in the Constitution. And crucial to any country is that the democratic process is open and it's transparent. So please, um, you know, come and contact me, DoloresCahill.com, if you would like to be involved in setting up an election commission to prepare for the next general election and for future elections, including the presidential election. And particularly if there are any companies out there that have distributed ledger technology that we can, for other elections, track the vote. And if there are any, we we'll say, people who know the law that would like to help us uh, to take action against what's going on today, we would welcome your support. And please come and put it in at DeloreStown.com. Thank you for watching the video today. Sorry, Hugh, uh, member of the public able to go in and watch the count? Do you respond? Do I need one just as a member of yeah, the public yeah. to so, watch it? So today what's happening is the candidate is he's getting two passes mm -hmm. because of um, social distance and all that. Mm -hmm. So each candidate will get two passes. So if you're in Cattle, she should have got two passes. So if I get a pass now and put on my mask, you'll allow me in? No, you have to win with her. So you're so, you're so safe with her. But you're not letting her in, yeah? But, She's, she's won't, she won't abide by the terms and conditions inside, so she's not getting it. But she's abiding by the law, I think, isn't she? We're well, having an argument. We've already discussed it lots of times. Is there legislation uh, stopping her entering without a mask, is there? This is what happened in Germany in That's 1933 and 1934. And now you're Shovel. participating. No, we... This is what happened in Germany. S.H.O. Hugh Shovelin, as you heard. Yeah. Go on, keep going. So no, Elisa was just saying. Sorry, that I missed that. I missed that, Elisa. You were talking. That sorry, was, sorry was, for going about crossing. I, I was talking, and I want to. I want people to know that this is the same thing that happened in Germany in 1933 and 1934, and this is how tyranny starts. This is how tyranny starts when when the police will not uphold the law and will not uphold the constitution. And, and essentially, they're laughing at us. Yeah. We have stood for election, and this is, I would say, it's political policing because they are allowing some people in to watch the ballot and they are not allowing independent candidates. And Hugh Shovlin is engaged in, in okay. political policing, you I would say. You know the last here. candidate who walked in there? He's an independent and he walked in. Yeah, but you, and, and you restricted and the, and the me. You, you, you know that. I was you right beside him. him. So you've restricted me. I was right beside him, and I have well, inalienable he, he rights. You. We do uh, not consent to any medical intervention. Okay. And you have not identified us as a member. Of, you have not produced your warrant oath card. Sergeant Hugh Shovel and Donnie Bocard Station. No, no. Echo 26. Um, he, won't, he, won't, he won't produce his warrant oath card. So essentially. Produced. No, no, Very embarrassed about the photograph I did. She, she, she had a look at it. Well, well then, then show me. No, I've already showed you twice. Look. There happened, after the Second World War, there was a series of trials called the Nuremberg, Nuremberg Trials. trials. Yeah. And one of the, the, the founding principles was the police and the army in Nazi Germany that participated thought they were covered by saying, we're only following orders. That didn't cut it in, in 1945, and it certainly doesn't cut it in 2021. I am just following orders. I don't care if you're just following orders for the presiding officer, that, that you have 
participated today in tyranny. An, an unlawful action. An unlawful action. You are interfering as someone dressed up as a member of the police in the electoral process, and that is essentially political policing. We have a separation of powers, and you, Hugh, in your private and personal capacity, by your actions today restricting us from entering in to have oversight on how my votes are counted, that you personally, Hugh Shovlin, by your actions no, we... and by your omissions, are interfering in the highest, most sacred thing, the democratic process, and in the Nuremberg trials, members of the police force in Germany you are guilty of committing crimes and you cannot say that you are acting under orders. You have to uphold the law. Okay. Thanks. So please, can I go in now? No. Why not you? Please. please. I've explained to you on numerous yeah, occasions. I'm sorry now. No, no, don't touch me. Excuse me. I yeah. want to go in. Yeah, okay. I'm an election candidate. This is political policing. Please let me in. You have no authority. The, in Ireland, the members of the police cannot interfere in the democratic process. Sorry, Hugh. You have, you have not shown me your warrant oath card. Please step out of the way, I'm asking you. I'm an election candidate, my counts, my votes. What are you afraid of, you? Nothing. Yeah, well, why, well, why won't spoilers. you let me in? I don't really like spoilers. Why won't you let me in? You, that's not funny. I thought this, hilarious. These are extremely serious matters. Please let me in. The fact that you would joke. Yeah, please let me in. We've been here in. an hour and a half. You're asking the same question a hundred times. No, no, let me in. We're still at the same You're answer. You're not allowed to restrict my entry, Hugh. Okay. You have not identified. Show me my your warrant. My name is Sergeant Hugh Shovelin from Donnybrook Guard Station. Echo 26. You're six. screaming now, right? Please show your warrant. 500 on the light. So maybe just for people. Shown and proven. A member of Angarda Siakona is required to. They take an oath to uphold. Have it in my back pocket. Our inalienable rights and our in uh, integrity. So we have bodily integrity. He is not allowed. We have asked him. He has not shown it to me. Shown. And not shown to me. Shown. No, no. Twice. Not to me. And we laughed about my photograph that no, was taken a few no, years you, ago. No, no, we didn't. Not we to did. me. Not to me, Hugh. Uh, we did. I didn't. Shown and proven. No, no, you didn't. You think putting a camera in my face is going to because annoy me? Because you know what? It's on video no. that initially you didn't have it. You made a phone so call. So I actually made the effort to go and get it just yeah, to you, prove. You and then I showed proof. You just, you did, you just lied. I, did, I didn't lie. Because you were on the phone to ask someone to bring it. And, 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 I, and I now have it. You haven't shown it I to me. I have shown it. Twice. No, not to me. I did. And we laughed about my photograph. No, you didn't. We did. Because I had the mad hair. And it was look, look no, terrible. No, that wasn't me. You. It was. No. That wasn't you know. me. So you, you didn't. There's no, you didn't. You, you okay. basically, yeah. So you, you cannot restrict my movement okay. in the country. Okay. I accept your oath, you. Are you acting under it? I am. Okay, on what authority oh. then do you have to explain stand already? No, no, it's no, not. Explain it. Now. Explain it. Well, already okay. explained three what, times. What article of the Constitution? Explain. Are you interfering with the no. democratic process? Explain. No, you're not. You're not. Already done. You, you, you are now live. Hi. And you are not explaining under what article of already the Constitution? Already done. No, you're not. Because Explained there already. None. There is none. He is participating Excuse in tyranny. Me, Hugh, he is a participating have, in unlawful please action. Please your warrant oath card. Done already. No, no, you've not done it. Twice. Why are you blocking us, Hugh? Why are you blocking you us? Have already right. explained. Excuse me. Excuse me. No, 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 please. You're blocking my entry into the... I'm only shouting because I'm wearing a mask, so I don't want, I want to make sure you hear what I'm saying. Sorry, you have no authority to restrict our... Explained opinion. already. Under Don't. what law? Under what law? Explained already. No, because there is there is no article of the Constitution which restricts yeah, that. Our movement. The Constitution protects our inalienable rights. Freedom and if of you travel, freedom of speech, and part of freedom of speech is to engage in the democratic process in order to stand for election, to be part of the government, in order to ensure that the police force uphold the law. And we have in Ireland on the 9th of July 2021, essentially political policing, that some candidates are allowed in to see their ballot papers and others are not. And we have Hugh Shovlin. Yeah, Shovlin. That game Shovlin. is okay. okay. Yeah. Please, Shovlin. So by his actions, he is ensuring that I cannot see who's voted for me or not. So when the uh, sheriff, you know, the returning officer, has the election results, we will have no oversight for whether it's actually valid. Okay, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Bye-bye. Yeah. You. you have no consent to judge me. You have no consent to restrict my access. I have a move. So if you hit bump off me, you're actually assaulting me. Okay, so there you go. Just another little update.
We were chatting with uh, independent Peter Dooley there a couple of minutes ago. We hoped to get inside and do an interview with him inside, but unfortunately we can't gain access. So there you go. <laughs>